Okay guys, so we are now in 287. So, 287번 문제 of the POA reviewer. So, conversation ni ka at sya kanina. Okay, fill in the blank pa rin guys. No? Fill in the blank type question. Okay, so sabi ni ka, Hyunchol Shinen, onje blank ko yeyo. Okay, that's the question. So, Hyunchol si Mr. Hyunchol, okay, yung name. Onje, when, kailan. Then, blank ko yeyo. Okay, ko yeyo guys, cannot stand alone na siya lang. No? And dito, sa mga verbs, as you can observe, merong mga liyal sa baba. Okay, so, chijikhal, uh, kyurunal, isahal, then chulgunal. Okay, so merong mga layer sa baba Kasi itong layer, kasama yan ni Koyeyo So if you put together, layer Koyeyo uh, Yung ibig sabihin yan po guys is Will, no? future tense Okay, so will Okay, for example, kada Kal Koyeyo becomes Will go Hada, to do, hal Koyeyo Will do, okay, future tense po ito guys Okay So yung thought is uh, Mr. Yon Chol when you will blank okay you know, kailan ka magpapablank okay yun yung uh, thought dito yung reply niya uh, jonen polso esoyo okay jonen i polso okay already then hesoyo okay hesoyo means did no in this context past tense yung present tense heyo yung past tense hesoyo did okay i did already okay tari okay Tal guys means daughter Then turina Combination ng dul Yung hana dul Dalawa Then ina Okay, ina guys It has different meanings Depende kung paano siya ginamit sa context Okay It can mean or uh, For example Haksen ina Sonseng nim Okay Gabang ina Kudu Okay Or Bag or shoes no? So dito Hindi or yung pagkakagamit niya dito guys Okay Si ina Pwede mo rin siyang gamitin para ilagay sa quantity. Okay. Tulad nito guys, quantity or bilang, no? Dalawa. Ano naman yung dinadalang meaning ni ina pag nilalagay mo siya sa quantity? Okay. Pag nilalagay mo siya sa quantity po, uh, it means lang na yung quantity na yun is beyond the expectation of someone else. Okay? Beyond the expectation of someone else or beyond your expectation. Depende sa context. Dito guys, nilagay siya sa uh, quantity na 2 kasi this 2 uh, two or dalawang daughters, okay? It's not expected sa tao na natatanong sa kanya, okay? So, for example, uh, Jonen, okay? Oje, okay? Jonen Oje. Uh, Mekchu, okay? Mekchu Rir, okay? Then, Tasot Pyong, okay? Tasot Five Pyong is yung counter, no? Bottles. Masyos Soyo, Okay? Masyo soyo. Okay. So, I drank. Past tense, guys. Diba? Masyo you to drink. Drink. Then, masyo soyo. Past tense. I drank five bottles of beer. Mekchu. Yesterday. Okay. So, five bottles, guys. What if gusto mong i-emphasize na yung limang bote is something na hindi expected sa'yo? Kasi yung expected sa'yo, normally, kaya mo lang uminom ng tatlong bote or dalawa, no? Pero that time, kahapon, Limang bote na yung ininom mo. So, you can put ina, guys. No? And you can say, uh, Jonen oje, mekchurur tasopyong ina, masyo soyo. Okay, so, it means lang, guys, na itong bote is uh, something beyond the normal na ginagawa or iniinom mo. Okay? So, again, pwede mong gamitin si ina para ilagay sa quantity. And yung dinadala niyang meaning is para lang i- emphasize na yung quantity na yun goes beyond the expectation or goes beyond the normal or the usual. Okay? And in nundeyo, okay, combination ng ita, to have, then nundeyo here guys, uh, nilalagay lang siya in order to ask some reaction sa listener. Okay? So it has also different meanings. Okay? <laughs> so this one is intermediate part. Uh, marami siyang meanings guys, but in this context nilalagay lang din siya uh, in order to ask some reaction with the listener. Okay, parang yung thought dito guys is kung sa Tagalog, meron na nga, no? Meron na nga akong dalawang uh, anak na babae. Okay? So, kasi sabi ni, ano, yung nagtanong sa kanya, Oh, Mr. Yon Chol, kailan ka magpapakasal? Ah, nagpakasal na ako. Meron na nga akong dalawang anak na babae. Okay, yun yung thought dito. Okay, 
So, ano kaya yung pwedeng ilagay natin dito sa vlog, guys? Okay? So, number one, chichikhar. Okay? So, chichikhar, guys, meaning to get a job. No? Magkatrabaho. Okay? So, anong kinalaman dito? <laughs> so, Mr. Yonchol, uh, when you will get hired, that's the thought, or when you will get a job. Okay? Uh, animida. Number two, kuronal. Okay? To get married or to marry. No? So, uh, Mr. Yonchol, when will you get married? Okay, that's the thought. So, this is the correct answer, guys. No? Yes, I already did. I even have two daughters. Okay, so therefore, number two yung tamang sagot natin. Guys. Hindi isahar. Okay? Uh, it means to move. no? But in this context, yung meaning niya is to move house. Lumipat ng bahay. Okay? Animida, sabon, chulgunal. Okay, chulgunal, guys, meaning to work. Okay, yung literal meaning kasi ng chulgun is mag-time in, no? Mag-time in sa work. Kasi when you go time in, halimbawa guys, sa biometric, meron yung nakalagay, chulgun at saka, twegun. Okay, so pag magka-time in ka, i-click mo yung chulgun. <laughs> Pero pag magka-time out ka, o, oh, tasot si, o, oh, pag 5 o'clock na, uh, twegun yung i-click mo. Okay, so, dito, chulgun hal, okay, so when you will work, Okay, when you will time in, that's the thought. So, tasi yung bon, yung correct answer natin dito is number 2. Okay, 288, ibig parship halibon bunje. Okay, sabi ni ga, i kuncho e, kekut hanjip is so you. Okay, so i kuncho. Okay, so this kuncho guys, meaning surroundings or nearby, you know. Okay, kalapit. Okay, e sa kalapit dito, that's the thought, kekut han. Okay, kekut han. Okay, kekutada, which means to be clean. Okay, descriptive verb. And dilagay itong niyan, guys, para gawing adjective or modifier yung isang verb. Okay, yung ibig sabihin sa Tagalog lang ng niyan means na. Okay, so malinis na jeep. Okay, house. Okay, iso yung meron. So meron bang mali bahay na malinis sa kalapit dito? Yun po yung thought. Then, jeeper. Okay, jeeper, guys, house, jum, blam inundeyo okay so inundeyo so ito guys uh, inundeyo as what I have said earlier so nilalagay siya guys para i-indicate na gusto mo ng response sa isang tao or sa nakikinig sa iyo okay inundeyo ne yes meron daw chihatoryok okay chihatoryok chihatory guys uh, subway yok station guntoy okay sa nearby daw sa uh, subway station Chun jip. Okay. So, chun guys, combination ng chuta, which means to be good or nice. No? Descriptive verb. And itong un, same function with niyon here. Okay? So, ginagawa niya lang this modifier form yung isang verb. Yung ibig sabihin niya sa Tagalog is na. Okay? Kaya un kasi may consonant. Pag walang consonant, pwede mong ilagay yung niyon. Okay? For descriptive verbs. Okay? Chun means good na. Jeep. Okay. Bahay. Bahay na mag maganda. Okay. Yun yung thought. Or just nice house or good house. Hana one is so you. Meaning half. So, merong isang bahay na nice malapit sa uh, subway station. Okay. So, itong number one guys. Ito si Ga guys. Oh, ito si Ga is naghahanap siya. Kasi ano kaya pwede natin i-fill sa blank. Okay. So, number one. Salbu. Okay, salgo yun yung deyo. Okay, salgo. So, combination ng salda, which means to live. And itong go, guys, uh, kasama supposed to be ito ni ita. So, ku it meaning ing. Okay, ing. So, salgo ita, which means living. <laughs> okay, so hindi guys, no? naghahanap siya, di ba? Okay, so, animida. Number two, chikko. Okay, chikko yun yung deyo. Chikku inundeyo, chitta guys, to build. So, if you say chikku itta, building. So, I am building house. Okay, meron bang bahay na malinis malapit dito? Okay, so, anin nila? It doesn't fit the context. Number three, sambon, palgo. Okay, palgo guys, which means to sell, magbebenta. No? So, palgo itta, selling. So, nagbebenta. So, Meron bang malinis na bahay malapit dito? 
nagbebenta kasi ako ng bahay. Okay, if you put palgo. <laughs> Cheaper yung palgo yun din. Nagbebenta ka ng bahay. And ani ni that doesn't fit the context. Number four, kuhago. Okay, kuhago ita. Okay, kuhada guys. Oh, kuhada which means to look. So ano yung kaibahan niya sa chatta? Okay, normally chatta is just to find, to look for something. But kuhago guys is to look and obtain that thing, no? Hindi lang basta hanapin, kukunin mo rin, okay? To look and obtain. Okay, yun po yung kuhada, okay? So, ito po yun guys, no? Kasi naghahanap siya ng bahay. At saka gusto niyang kunin yung bahay na yun, okay? So, kuhago inundeo, I am looking for the house, okay? So, kuhada again, to look, no? To look or to find, okay? So, therefore, number four yung tamang sagot natin dito. Okay? Next, uh, ibig pala si Kuban Bunje. Okay, 289. Okay, so, ring lang po ito guys no, ng phone. Then, Yobuse. Okay, kulang ito. Yobuse yo. Okay? So, are you familiar with this? So, Yobuse yo guys. No? Yobuse yo meaning uh, hello in phone conversation. Okay? Yobuse yo. So, you can only use this in uh, phone conversation. No? Okay, yung reply niya, Kogi, Iyong Su, Sansing Nim, Teki Jo. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin nito guys? Kogi, there, Jan, Iyong Su, okay, uh, Iyong Su yung name, Li Yong Su, ganun. Then, Sansing Nim, okay, teacher, uh, Mr. or teacher Iyong Su, tech guys, honorific form ng jeep bahay. Okay, then itong E here, uh, it comes from the verb ida, okay? Or yung imida yung present tense niya, okay? Tapos itong ida, uh, kinunjugate pa siya into jio, okay? So jio guys means right or diba, okay? So diba, bahay to ni teacher iyong su, okay? Yun po yung thought, no? okay? So Sonseng name, si teacher Keshimnika. Okay, Keshimnika, Keshida guys, which means uh, to stay. Or nandyan ba, no? Honorific form ng ita. Okay? So, Tiyupnika, uh, yung interrogative form or question form ng Tiyupnida. Okay? So, yung meaning nito guys, itong Imnida or Tiyupnida is am um, or are. No? Depende sa context. Okay? So, is this, nandito yung thought dito, okay, is this the house of teacher Iyong Su, right? Okay, yun po yung thought. Nandyan ba si teacher? So, yung reply, ne, chamkam man blank. Okay, chamkam man, okay, chamkan guys for a while, then man only. Okay, a while only. Or sa Tagalog, sandali lang. Okay, yung man kasi means only. Okay, then chamkan means sandali. So, sandali lang, then blank. So, ano kaya yung pwedeng ilagay natin dito, guys? Okay. Yes, number three. Kidari seyo. Okay. Kidari da, which means to wait. Then seyo means please. So, please wait for a while. Okay. So, therefore, number three yung tamang sagot. Hindi yung mana seyo. Okay. Please manada to meet. So, please meet for a while. <laughs> uh, animida. Okay. Okay. Uh, Turu seyo, okay, which means please hear for a while, okay? Makinig ka muna for a while. Hindi, doesn't fit the context. Ano yun nila? Sambon, karuchi seyo, okay? Karuchi seyo, karuchi da, which means to teach. Then please teach for a while. So therefore, yung tamang sagot natin dito, tas sambon, sambon yun nila. Number three. Okay, last, 290, ibek kusip pon munje. So, i t-shot tsu, olma yeyo. Okay, this e guys no this this t-shirt t-shirt alma yeyo alma means how much then yeyo oh, is okay is this yung thought no is so how much is this t-shirt okay magkano itong t-shirt nito sabi niya sama non yeyo okay sama non is yung uh, thirty thousand won no? yung reply niya no mu pisayo okay very pisada okay expensive it's very expensive Chum, uh, chum guys, a bit na yung thought. A bit blank to say. Okay, so ano kaya yung pwede natin ilagay dito guys? Okay, so, ko. Oh. So if you say ko to say, it means, yes, turn off. No? Kasi it comes from the verb uh, kuda, which means to 
turn off. So, call you sa'yo, please turn off. It's very expensive. So, ano yung kinalaman sa turn off at expensive dito, guys? No? <laughs> ano yung nila? Sabon, sa sa'yo. Okay, sa sa'yo, guys, uh, it has different meanings in the context. No? If you put chuseyo, so it means it's an action verb. No? Hindi siya descriptive verb. Kasi pag descriptive verb, guys, it means um, cheap. Okay? But in this context, if you put sa sa'yo, yung magiging thought niya is please pack. Okay? Sa kasi can mean to pack. No? Okay, for example, gym. Okay. Gym, guys, is yung luggage. Okay? Chimmer sa. Okay? Sa da, which means to pack the luggage. Okay? mag impake in po yung thought. Okay? So, please pack. <laughs> it's very expensive. Ani nida? Next, manna juseyo. Please manna da. Meat. Okay, please meet. It's very expensive. Sabo, number four. Kakka juseyo. Okay, please kakta. Okay, it means to, yes, to ask for discount, guys. No, kakta. Okay, so if you say kakka juseyo, please give me, yes, discount. Okay, so ito yung tamang sagot dito, guys. Sabon.